I was a guy that walked like this. I walk with my shoulders slouched. My chest was, was caved in. What's up everybody, it's Tyron Johnson, and I'm doing something new, bringing something new to the YouTube channel. I'm combining my YouTube channel with my podcast, but not at, in its entirety. So what I'll do is, I'm trying something new because, you know, I play professional sports, I play professional basketball, and it takes up a lot of my time to put out all of this content, and I want to keep bringing all the content that I can to add value because that's the only reason why I'm having a social media is to add value and to bring something to my business so whenever I'm done, you know, everything can come together full circle. So what I'm doing is I'll post partial amounts of the podcast to this YouTube channel for you to listen to the whole podcast. You will have to finish it on tyronjohnson.com slash podcast or go to Apple Podcasts. But I wanted to record a video form or something, you know, so I can share it on social media, so I can break down certain parts of the podcast instead of just producing the podcast and just letting it go into the wind. Because right now, the podcast is doing pretty well in Europe, but it's not doing so well in America. And part of that because I think is that Americans, we like to see certain things. So if I'm able to post things on Instagram or, or if I'm able to share certain things with a heading, breaking down parts of the podcast, I think it'll gain a little more traction. Whereas now I'm just posting three podcasts per week and uploading it. And you know, a lot of basketball players are consuming it, but I want this podcast to be for everyone. You know, basketball players can use it, but it's really for everyone because these are life lessons that I want to teach within these podcasts. So this will be the first podcast where I do the podcast on YouTube, post partial of it. You can finish the rest on Apple Podcasts or tyronjohnson.com slash podcast. And I'll break a few of my highlights down on Instagram so you can catch some clips there, but you will also have to click the link to finish the whole thing. So with that being said, that's how I'm starting this podcast off. Um, it's called the Truth Life Podcast. Truth stands for take respect until freedom. And that's what we're doing. We're trying to take respect in this world until we're free to do whatever we want to do, whenever, whenever we want to do it, with whomever we want to do it with. That's what the Truth Life is all about. So I feel like through these podcast series, I can give you guys some points, some tips to live that life because that's the life I feel like I'm living right now. And I'm having a blast doing it. Today I want to talk about walking on the balls of your feet. Walking on the balls of your feet has made a tremendous impact in my life in every aspect of it. For as I was a guy that walked like this. I walked with my shoulders slouched. My chest was, was caved in. You know, um, I walked on my heels. And I was going through, through life reacting instead of being proactive. See, when I walk on the balls of my feet, it taught me that I go through life more aggressively, more proactive than reactive. That way I started controlling my own destiny. Whenever I walk on the court, I'm walking with a purpose now. Before I would just walk on the court and my, my talent that I've worked so hard to, to gain would get me through. But when my talent met me having an aggressive approach, everything changed. Everything changed from my demeanor, how I communicated with my teammates, how I communicated with my coaches, me being more kind, me, me, me being more accepting, me being more understanding to understand everyone around me. Everything changed because whenever we walk on the heels of our feet, everything about us is cool. It makes us more selfish. That might be a stretch, but it does. It makes us more focused on just ourselves. My energy is good. You're not worrying about what your energy can do to your teammates. 
because you might be one of the best players on the team. But if your energy is being conserved because you're being so relaxed, you're just chilling so much that the only person energy you're concerned about is yours. And whenever you want to be great, whenever you want to live a truth life, you have to be responsible for multiple people energy because people might not be as talented as you. People might not have the ability to click it on or click it off like you. So you have to be responsible in providing that type of energy. That's why you have to walk on the balls of your feet because it gives you a sense of purpose. It gives you a sense of urgency. I'm telling you, just try it out. Go from walking normal to walking on the balls of your feet. Not, not granted, when I'm around the house, when I'm around my girlfriend, whenever we're in the house just going about our daily life, I'm walking normally, I'm probably slouched, I'm on my heels because I'm super relaxed. But as soon as I get touch foot in the workplace, as soon as um, I'm doing something with my business, I do everything in a proactive state. I mean, I walk on the balls of my feet, I sit up properly at the desk when I'm typing, I just make sure that everything about me is being an aggressive, an aggressive phase. Because I've, I've learned that doing that has made me more successful. Throughout my whole high school, throughout my whole college career, I would walk with no purpose. And I worked so hard to where I became athletic. I got some skills, so it got me by. But the first thing my college coach told me, Coach Rennie Bailey, shout out to Coach Rennie Bailey was, he said, I'm gonna get that chest out there. I'm gonna get you to poke that chest out. And I didn't understand what he meant by that. But what I started noticing is that all the greats poke their chest out. All the greats walk on the, the balls of their feet. Michael Jordan walked on the balls of his feet. LeBron, Muhammad Ali, Floyd Mayweather, every great athlete that I've seen walks on the ball of their feet. And then I've also seen some talented guys that don't walk on the balls of their feet that still was very talented, still did real great things, but their potential was minimized because they walked on their heels. They took a more reactive approach. They were just chill. They were too cool for school. You see LeBron walk, he's walking with a purpose any and everywhere he goes. You can see it in Dwayne Wade. I, I could, Paul George, being around Paul George and Lance Stevenson really solidified that for me. The first person that ever told me about this was Elijah Millsap. And he just so happened to be one of my brothers. But Elijah told me this in college. He probably don't even remember it. He was like, T, walk on the balls of your feet. You walking too, you, you, you too relaxed.